Well, they won't see me or any other seven action crews today on campus. And that's because the district asked us not to be there after discussing the matter with mental health experts. Now we understand there are so many students that are still traumatized and we want to respect their privacy today. The building is going to be triggering um, because it brings us right back. Although much of the building will look different, the terrifying memories of November 30th still haunt a lot of students and their families. Jennifer Kadick says her son Edward attended an open house at the school before today's official opening. He's still a little on edge about the return. I just, I mean, I think a lot of people, me <clears throat> included, want to see a big, you know, change with how it looks and everything. Because I don't want to, you know, look at the same, look at, look at the place and think, oh, this is the same place where this happened. I want to look at it and think this is just school, a regular school day. Principal Steve Wolf has the same wants and wishes as Edward. And we know it's going to be really difficult for our students and our staff to come back because we're still grieving. And our thoughts and our prayers will continue to be with the victims of this senseless act and this tragedy and for those who continue to heal. He says construction crews have worked tirelessly for weeks trying to give the building a new look. The district has also implemented new safety protocols, including the use of clear backpacks, crisis counseling, therapy dogs, and extra police presence on campus. We want them to see very clearly we're there, we're available, and we're doing everything we can to make them not only feel that safety, but feel reassured that, you know, we can get through this together. Wolf says Oxford High students have shown an extraordinary amount of bravery, but he knows today will be scary. I'm, I'm a little anxious about it. Tells me that they will, that students will have a later start today and tomorrow. Now we, of course, are wishing them all the luck today as they return to Oxford High School. Live in Oxford Township, I'm Alex Bozargian, 7 Action News.